what's up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt I'm Brittany and today is an exciting day for me because I'm reorganizing and like sort of doing a small revamp to my little salon space or hair area if y'all watched my previous videos before now you'll know that I work from home I take my clients at home I'm, I'm not in any shop or anything um, so all of my clients come to the house and it's just a small section of the living room. It has like some built-in shelving that I really love. That was one of the things that I was crazy about when we first got this apartment because, um, what was I going to say? Like that built-in shelf, I was just like, yes, that's, that's going to be perfect for storing stuff. But over time, it just got really cluttered. I keep a lot of products here. Um, always buying stuff for my clients. I have a fish tank up there. Just... A bunch of different things that it's just starting to get a little wild a little hectic a little crazy some of the furniture I've had for a while um it's kind of dirty dingy um and then my little pullout drawers I have like this separate bookshelf with the little cubbies y'all know the uh, little cubby system that's in style now everybody's getting them with the little collapsible bins that you can put in them I have a few of those little cubes that are stuck into those shelves and they're full of junk y'all I'm, as I'm doing hair, I work really messy, really fast. Um, just my mind be going, and I just, I'm pulling stuff out, pulling hair out, pulling jewelry out for the braids, and I'm just moving fast. So, at first, when I set up the whole storage system, I had certain stuff in each drawer. It's like a certain drawer for accessories, a certain drawer for extra hair. Like, if my client runs out of hair, I had an extra drawer I can go into to pull out excess hair. Um, a certain drawer for like scissors and combs and extra stuff that I didn't have up top and over time with like just braiding and being in between a client's appointment and, and going in the drawers grabbing stuff stuff got all mixed up and I'll show y'all in a minute but it's really junky really cluttered it's like an organized mess because walking in my client will look at this, the little area and think that it's okay like it's cute um I've had a, a lot of people actually compliment my hair station and say that they love it but me I know that there's a storm behind everything like it's not all sunshine and rainbows when you really start to staring at stuff and pulling stuff out it looks terrible so today i'm gonna do an organization video i'm gonna let you guys watch me organize my entire little hair space area i brought a new salon chair that i'm gonna build and i also ordered some other things that i really really needed for my clients um if you watch my last few videos or today when I go out there, I'm going to do like a before clip showing you guys how it looks before all of the um, the new revamp and stuff. But um, the chair that I have, my friend gave to me, and it's more of like an office chair. It's hot pink. It has nothing to do with my hair business. My hair colors um, for my business are purple and gold or purple, silver, and gold. Sometimes I'll throw a little silver in when I'm doing different things as far as branding with my hair business but yeah um everything is purple silver and gold a little splash of black too and all of a sudden i got this hot pink chair i really needed a chair at the time because i had chairs for me to sit in i had brought salon chairs for myself and my dad even brought me one for my birthday just thinking of where i'm gonna sit while i'm braiding but i never had like a seat specialized for my clients so my co-worker slash friend gave me a chair for like ten dollars and it's pink the material holds dirt even when you wipe it down like different hair glue and products that i've used over time have just gotten into the chair and i no longer want it out there um i'm gonna keep the chair and probably like go to the fabric store maybe get like some fuzzy or furry real cute fabric and like do the upholstery again and like maybe like re-sew something together as like a cushion or i don't know how to describe it but just like cover up the seat with new fabric and use it in another room at another time but for right now i wanted to get a salon chair especially for my clients they deserve it i have a lot of people that come support me i want them to be in something that's comfortable something that's easy to clean like the leather seats that you'll see that i sit in um, the material, I can just wipe it down, take a hot rag or a wet rag or a towel and just wipe it down after appointments and I'm good. But the material of the chair they sit in is not the best. So I got them a new chair. I'm looking at the box now. That's why I keep looking over there. But I got them a chair and then I ordered some things from Amazon, which as of right now, I can't even remember what all I got. But it was a couple things that I wanted or needed for my clients going further. So 
Today you will see me unpackage my stuff from Amazon, build the chair, and reorganize my hair station. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm about to because I'm so excited to do this. how it looks now you guys and you'll see what I'm talking about this pink chair right here it, again it was handed down to me it's stained really bad it doesn't go with the flow of the living room I won't say it's not a cute chair but it doesn't fit in with what's going on with the rest of the area so I had to get a black chair the chairs that I sit in as you can see are black and they have that leather leather material that's easy to wipe down so like I was explaining in my intro, I could just take a wet rag after an appointment. This needs to be wiped down, so I don't mind it. But I could take a wet rag and just wipe these leather chairs off, and then they're clean. Whereas to with the pink chair, whatever stain, water, whatever gets in it, it's in it. So I wanted a chair that my clients can sit in that's easy to clean, that's comfortable for them. And I just feel like they deserve a little better. So we're going to build that chair today and then I'm going to go in each of these drawers that have gotten really ugly over time and I'm going to organize these drawers. Look at this. Used hair, hair accessory, string, tissue for when I do my sleep ponytails, um, extra hair over here. It's just a hot mess. So I'm going to go through each of these drawers and just do a reorganization video, just um, organizing my space better. So tune in if you want to see. Oh, y'all, I also got some carpet protectors. I had this one row that I was using, but for the most part, I was using this quilt. If you've watched my videos prior to this, you'll see in some of my hair videos, I have that quilt laid out on the floor to protect the carpet, but the quilt is, um, you know, it's like cotton material, so if it gets wet, it can seep through to the floor, get the floor wet. I needed more of these carpet protectors like that to where if it gets wet, I could just wipe it off like it's plastic. So I ordered a couple of those, and hopefully it's enough to fill the space. That way I can just wash that quilt and never use it down on this floor again. A quilt is meant to be, you know, laid under, not laid on the floor. So I'm going to... Lay those out, build the salon chair, and organize my drawers over here. Over here, so stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the drawers. And y'all, I was thinking about what I was gonna do with what I had ordered from Amazon. I ordered more of these, but I got solid black ones because the blue kind of throws off the aesthetic. So yeah, the blue ones came with the shelves, so I wanted to use the blue ones, but um, they don't match anything, they don't go with anything, so I'm going to fold these or uh, put them somewhere else, and I have these, they don't sell these anymore, the holographic bins, I can't find them anywhere anymore, I got these from Walmart about three years ago, two years ago. And I can't find my one on their website. They're no longer available. So I got um, six jet black ones. And so I'm probably just going to put the holographic ones in the middle. I love these to death. And then just put two black ones up top, two black ones at the bottom. I left this shelving part open for magazines and books. But my clients don't even come to their appointments and look at magazines or books. They be in their phones or they watch them, whatever I have on TV. So... I don't need to leave this open. This can be another storage area for me to put some bins in here and hold more stuff. That way, stuff don't get like this. Like, it's really bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make piles. Since everything is all collectively ugly right now, I'm going to do a pile for hair, a pile for accessories. Excuse the TV in the background. But a pile for hair, a pile for accessories, a pile for tools. And then once I'm done, I should have three different piles. And then I'll find a home for each of those piles. But for right now, I just need to separate and declutter everything. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I'll show you some of the things that I brought. I'll come back later and talk to y'all about what I brought. But for right now, we're just going to separate all of this chaos, okay? And then in my room, I keep hair. I hoard hair. I'm, I just believe that 
some of my clients don't listen to me. Some of them come and they'll do what I say and they'll get the amount of hair that I tell them to get. Some of them, being cheap, will be like, nah, my head not that big or I don't think I'm going to use all that hair and they'll get less than what I tell them to get. And I'll be needing this extra hair to make up for them not bringing what I told them to get. I've been doing this for over a decade, y'all. If I say you need six packs, you need six packs. Don't bring me four packs. So I keep extra hair for people like that. And then there's clients who go above and beyond. She said bring six. I'm going to bring eight just in case. Whether they have too much, then not have enough. And then I might use the six that I told them I was going to use and they'll still have two packs left and they'll be like well I'm never going to use this color again I was trying something new or I like to switch it up I don't know when the next time I'm going to have this style again so Brittany you can have that here I'm sorry you know I brought two packs trying to outsmart you and I end up with extra hair because they overbrought. I always buy when I'm in the store a pack of cankaline here, a pack of free trends there because I know I could always use it. So over time, I just started collecting hair and I have bins and bins of wigs, tracks, braiding hair that I've had over the years. And so that bin is in my bedroom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to like consolidate this hair, throw away the stuff I just know I'm never going to need again, keep the stuff I do need, and all of that stuff does not need to be stored in here. I'm going to add that to my hair collection in my room, just put it in that plastic container, throw it back under my bed, and it can be out of sight. And if I do come across those appointments where I need the extra hair, I can just go into my room, pull that from under my bed, and get whatever color I need out of the bin rather than having it out here and cluttering all of this stuff. Because I need this space for other things. All of this stuff is just looking tacky. Walking to my living room when we have company and stuff everybody doesn't necessarily on days where i'm off and i'm not doing hair i don't necessarily want to look at all of this all day you know so it's still on the other end of a living room y'all see my ring light y'all in the uh, in the reflection but yeah so that's what i'm about to do i'm gonna probably speed this little process up just play a little beat and clean and then we'll move on to the good stuff which is the new stuff So clearly there was no exaggeration on the mess I described to you guys. As I'm doing this, I'm realizing it was long overdue for me to take the time out to clean these cubbies. Stuff was tangled, ruined. I had to get rid of hair, get rid of accessories. But I ended up with just two pounds. I didn't have a lot of tools tucked away. Turns out majority of my tools were either um, on top on display or in my bathroom. So... I'm pretty much just separating hair, um, figuring out what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, and then separating accessories, what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. I'm just going in each cubby and pulling everything out, either throwing away stuff or keeping stuff. I had stuff that was brand new, had never been touched, and I had a lot of stuff that had been sitting in there for a while. So you'll just see me sorting that out in this piece of the video.
I want to show y'all my new combs. I forgot to show y'all these. I'm excited about them because they're full of glitter. If you know me, you know I love anything that sparkles. And they're made like the precision combs that I got from Duchess Beauty or Duchess Braids. If you watch my self-care vlog, I reviewed Duchess Braids products. They're making the combs just like this now. So I got a 12 pack. I haven't opened them yet, but I just wanted to show y'all these cones. They are so cute. Okay, y'all, so remember I told y'all I ordered some stuff, too. Um, and I don't remember everything, but I do know I got those beans I told y'all about. So I went ahead and put the holographic ones in the middle, and then I have the jet black ones to go at the top and the bottom. Okay, y'all, so these are the collapsible bins. It's six black ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I only need four. Two black for the top, two black for the bottom, and I'm going to have two left. My room is silver and black, so I'll find somewhere to use them in my room, the extra two. I got a pack of lashes, y'all. They were really cheap. I couldn't resist them, but... You want to snack with some muscles? Got some, yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> I got a pack of lashes. This is for something else. Um, Y'all know I have another business where I make party favorites for parties. But I got a 200 pack of Jello shots because I have a couple of events coming up. People have birthday parties and Halloween events. And I got to make a couple of Jello shots. So... That's that, but I think the only thing for this particular vlog with the organization is this six pack of collapsible bins and this. What is this? Oh, y'all, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so my clients come for touch ups, or sometimes they'll come to their first appointment, like their uh, original appointment, and a lot of my clients have flaky scalp, and so sometimes I'm combing their hair out, getting ready to part, and flakes and dandruff is coming out of their scalp and getting their clothes when I'm doing a touch-up and I'm trying to comb out the residue. Stuff is getting on their clothes, so I needed a cape, a salon cape to um, protect their clothes from dandruff and stuff, or just when I'm clipping their hair, sometimes I go up the braids and I trim up, you know, the little flares, the uh, flyaway hairs and stuff, or if they're getting a style where like a sew-in or something, I have to trim and stuff. I've been getting hair in their clothes. They standing up, shaking their shirts off and stuff. It's been real ghetto lately. So, <laughs> well, just in general, since I've been doing hair, I never had a cape for my clients. I have a couple of aprons that I wear myself, but y'all, Amazon had this cute cape. It's a black girl with shades on. They had a bunch of different, um, they had a bunch of different options, but this one stuck out to me. So this is my new cape and it just goes around their neck and then it clasps it. Like it's just, it has a hook where you hook it on. So you put it on around them like a bib and it protects their clothes from, um, from getting anything on it. I'm not gonna be able to, I don't think I can attach this behind my head, but y'all get the picture like, it's just a little cape, so when they're sitting down, getting their hair done, boom, they protect it, so. I'm excited about this. I forgot I had ordered this. Real cute. So, yeah. Um, in that particular package, I just had this cape and those bins. I love this material. Oh my goodness, I gotta go back under there, um, go back on Amazon and leave them a review, leave them a couple comments about this because I love this. I'm too hype about this. I see it in barbershops a lot and some salons. I'll see stylists have them, but they're jet black. They don't have any type of character to them. So I'm so excited to have a cake for my girls, y'all. Clients, I'm spoiling y'all. I love y'all to be So this is my apron. It was a birthday gift. It's a purple apron. For those of y'all who don't know, my favorite color is purple, and I love anything blingy, so. It's just a blow dryer and some scissors. I got hair glue on it, then destroyed the darn apron, but this is my apron, and now 
This is my client's. Is my client's. Uh oh. My client's cake. Now this is my heater. Y'all will see when I was organizing. I didn't touch this at all. Like this is just where it's gonna be. This is my heater. Um, it gets pretty cool in the house, and my clients don't like to be hot. I don't like to be cold, so I run the AC for them. But I keep I keep that heater close to me to keep me warm because my levels are just off. But y'all are so happy. This is so cute. I don't know what that was. I guess it's my little happy dance. It's a little cha cha. All in the hips, a a. All in the hips, a a. All in the hips, a a. I don't have no rhythm, y'all. But yeah, that was it for that package. And then my other big, 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 big box is my salon chair that I'm gonna put together for my client. So bins, apron, and my chair. I gotta bring that out of my room. It's been sitting in my bedroom a couple days. So bring it out here, unbox that for y'all, put that together for y'all. And then we just um finish up this vlog it's coming along stay tuned for my event planning videos y'all let's see what i do with this y'all i'm vlogging minding my own business trying to put together content for y'all and i didn't realize that where did the fish at one of the fish died oh my god she's gone she's gone she's gone what went wrong? Keep on, y'all. Rest in peace, my nigga. <laughs> Now we're on to assembling this chair, and I'm not even going to cap to y'all. It was a tough task. I thought I could do it on my own. I said, I'm not going to bother my sister. I'm going to pull this chair out. I'm going to put it together. Everybody in reviews said that they did it so easily. I can do this. I got it. Y'all, maybe 10 minutes into assembling this chair, I was doing stuff wrong, having to repeat steps, thinking I didn't need to read directions, just doing the most and i ended up actually needing my sister and she was willing to help me y'all get people in y'all corner that support y'all and don't mind because my sister was in the middle of cooking and minding her own business and she stopped everything to make sure i was straight and to help me get this chair together but before she comes in y'all gonna see me struggle a little bit because i'm just one of those stubborn want to be independent behind people that just think i know everything and just watch me right now i'm trying to screw a darn chair into the platform and i got to take the screws out first the directions had said don't put <laughs> the items together until you remove the screws instead of putting the screws in a separate bag they screwed everything in first so you know where it goes and you had to unscrew it and so now my sister comes in and helps me and teamwork make the dream work y'all because she made everything flow so smoothly. Once she came in from the kitchen, we did pretty good together. And
And right here, we're testing out the hydraulics feature of the chair, which was one of the more difficult parts because this is one of the main investments of the chair, like one of the main features that sold me on buying the chair. So we had to make sure it worked. And basically, we just had to figure out that with the way the pump was a symbol or the little handle at the bottom, you pump it really fast to move your clients up. Then you apply pressure really slow to move your clients down. And once we figured that out, we were good to go. And she started to put the rest of the seat together. Within about a couple hours, y'all, I'm not even going to lie, um, we had to keep working on it, keep working on it. She did some things. I came behind her and tried to help her on some things. The seat was a whole mess. Like, I don't know what the people in the reviews was talking about because it took forever to assemble this chair. But um <laughs> it finally came together Okay, y'all, so this is how everything looks after my upgrade. It was a very minor upgrade, nothing major. In the future, if I decide to add or do anything else, I'll give y'all updates on my salon space. So maybe we can make this part one if I do any more shopping. But pretty much I wanted to keep it simple. My main goal was to organize those cubes. Y'all seen throughout the video how nasty they were. I wanted to take everything out and like you know reorganize that put my chair together put these mats down so i'm not doing hair on a blanket anymore and then get all of that clutter off the shelves it's still pretty much a lot of stuff over there but it looks better than it did before and it's more functional for me um if that makes any sense like when they come in they're still going to see stuff out but it's way more organized than what it may seem or what it may look so i'm excited about it uh again this might be part one of many videos to come with what i decide to do with this space but for right now i'm very very happy with how it turned out i'm happy with the chair i hope my clients like it i feel like it's a real big upgrade from the little office pink chair i was spinning them around in they have a spot for their feet i also have a pump in the back where i can send my kid clients up higher i can move my adult clients lower if they're taller than i am and then I still have my two salon chairs. I've always had two, y'all. I brought this one about eight years ago when I really, really got serious about hair. Um, I was noticing I was having back problems. Like, people ask me all the time, do my hands hurt when I braid? My hands don't really bother me. It's more so my back from standing up. So I got a seat for me to sit in. And then my daddy had got me this one last year for my birthday. And I really like this one. This is the one I'm probably going to use the most because, for one, it has a little more cushion than the other one. And then with the little squares and the way it's made, it matches the one I got for my clients a little better. But for right now, what I've been doing with these two seats, even when I had the pink chair right here, I would sit in this chair when I was on this side of the client's head. And then I would move over to this chair when I was on this side of the client's head. That way I'm not rotating the chair all around their head. I had two chairs to rotate through. And then before I got my um my braiding rack down there, I was using this chair to like lay hair over and stuff. So 
I like the two chairs for right now. They come in handy for me. So I'm gonna keep those two chairs, never know what I'm gonna need them for. And then again, my clients have their chair. Then I'm just gonna show y'all how my drawers look. This one is full of products. A lot of this stuff was just sitting out on the shelves, visible for everybody to see. It was just too much. So I cleared out all of that stuff you seen in the beginning of the vlog and I put my products in here out of sight. And I know where to go to when I'm finishing up and I wanna do like oil sheen and mousse, I go in there. This is full of extra products, my blow dryers and a couple of flat irons. And then down here is my towels. Once I'm done braiding my client's hair, I dip it in the hot water. I have two towels in here to dry their hair off with. This one doesn't have anything in it but some nails, the leftover screws and stuff that came with the chair. And then this one is full of accessories. All of my accessories from when I finished their hair, beads from when I had my kid clients, and then everything else that I need throughout the appointment, my combs and scissors and stuff, I wanted that to be easily accessible. My crochet needles for crochet styles, my beeswax for when I'm doing dreads, my hair glue from when I'm doing quick weaves, all of that stuff I wanted to leave out because that's stuff that I touched throughout the entire appointment. But the finishing stuff, like the mousse, the oil sheens and stuff, I put that away. A few of my edge controls I left out. As far as the shelves, shelves go over here with the built-in shelves, I have my dipping tools. This is like a kettle. Most people buy it for like coffee or tea. It has a platform that you sit it on, which is in my kitchen. You sit it on the platform and you plug it into the wall and after maybe five or 10 minutes, it boils. This little thing around it lights up. And once it turns blue and it starts lighting up, I think it's blue or red, it'll start lighting up in the water when the water's boiling. I'll take it off of the platform and then bring it to my client's head. This is another dipping cup before I had purchased this. This is another Amazon purchase, by the way, if I can find my well, I know I'll be able to find it. I can go on my order history and put that a clip in of it so you can find that. And then um, this was just what I was using to dip the hair before I got the kettle. Then over here, just like clamps for retwists when I do dreads. This is like miscellaneous stuff, more string, thread, and needle for sew-ins. Um, and then down here are like curling rods for styles where... My clients want their ends righted, more products in the corner, more combs and brushes, and I have like little sample packs of leave-in conditioners. I also have clients that leave business cards with me. I have a candy bowl that I do need to replenish. I didn't get that in time for this vlog. I need to get some more candy. And then down here, I have my mannequin, a couple more flat irons. My mom has a jewelry line. I help her sell bangles to my clients, um, bangles and earrings. So, um... That's her little display for my clients to shop. And then down here, I have my travel bag and my braiding rack. This bag on wheels, the pink, like, fluorescent looking one, I take this when I'm going away to appointments. So clients that don't drive or have kids or whatever the circumstance may be, they might be disabled. Um, for my clients in my area that absolutely need me to come to them, I take this bag and I pack up my products and put it in this bag. So that stays there because I need it over here by my stuff when I'm ready to pack up and go somewhere. Behind that is just some extra hair um, that I need to keep right there. I have a client coming tomorrow and I brought her hair for her because she didn't know what to get. So that's right there for her tomorrow. And then the braiding rack, of course. A little sanitation area, hand sanitizer and mask. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for me, any advice, I'm always open to criticism. So if there's anything you want to see, anything I should do differently or pertaining to this particular video, if you watch the video and you had ideas in your mind of what I can do to take more advantage of this space, like what I can do to... Any ideas of how I can maximize this small space, y'all, that me and my clients use every day. It's not a whole lot to work with. Again, it's just a small corner in my living room. I'm trying to make the most of it. But yeah, if you were watching it and in your mind you had some thoughts on things I could do, let me know and I'll be updating you guys on how my clients liked it. When they come in and they see the small changes, I'll let y'all know what they think. But yeah, in the meantime, you guys, thank you so much for supporting me. I'm brand new to this. Like, I'm 90 days in. Yeah, I'm just about three months in. I'm like 85, 86 days in. But I'm almost three months into this YouTube journey. And every day is a learning process. So 
Thank y'all for rocking with me. For everybody who's watched every single video, thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you who are just coming in, thank you for subscribing. For those of you who will be in and out, picking and choosing which videos you like, thank you for watching even the ones that you choose to watch. Let me know how I can engage you to keep watching more videos. Which ones stood out to you? Which ones was kind of like, uh, I can do without? Let me know so I can keep y'all satisfied. Love y'all.